What's up? This is HG News here. So I actually was busy this past six uh, days because we had this Thanksgiving sale and um, things like that, you know, having to do. Um, then I got my thing, you know, I, I always get, you know, you work at the company, you know, Walmart. Um, you get a certain extra, whatever, uh, you get to use to actually save some money. I'm not going to say that amount, but it's a good amount, trust me. Um, since all of us usually on retail have to work, uh, Thanksgiving, it's one of the things I had to do. They had perfect food and all that, and, um, yeah. I was actually there for the first time, and in the progress, I was trying to check out and get the Google home. Okay, Google. Can you hear me? Okay, Google. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Uh, All right. When's the alarm for? No. Okay, Google, stop. No problem. No new alarm set. As you can see, I got the Google Home Mini in an orange kind of color. Uh, and I also got an LED light that has a chance, a touch sensitive um, buttons that charges wireless for phones. It's efficient and really bright, so I just touch it, just like a little bar, and it's like white all, to get, all together. Um, that was a good deal for $15. It has it's gone up near $30. Or, you know, wherever it is. So, I got a good deal for it. I wish I bought a second one for the family, you know. Because I need a Secret Santa, but I'm not going to tell who it is because I signed up for the, at the store. Um, I'm going to find out. First time doing it, I got my own Secret Santa for the mom's family. Um, or both, really, technically. All three. Including the girls, you know, doing them. And, uh, Mom is like Dirty Santa where they steal things, steal gifts and all that. Say they don't like this gift, they can get up, steal, or get a different, different gift. And after so many times of stealing that item is dead, you can't steal it, it's, it belongs to wherever, wherever it is. And my dad's family started doing it in the last few years. Only doing that and that's it. To save money, you know, thirty dollars. Their family is always like fifty for you know we pick and we pick um, family members, and they picked us since I was always working Thanksgiving. So I did get um, my cousin Rena, so she's pregnant with a girl on March first. So it's projected to be my, on my birthday this coming next year. So I got find I think for her for like fifty dollars a couple items for that, and Bryce actually my cousin Bryce actually got me so I gotta know if I'm what I technically want for Christmas of course, and um, it's gonna be fifty bucks, that's the limit. Uh, we've been doing this for at least three four years or more since 2013 at least in the winter so, I do have it recorded the first time but I'm hoping I still have it on the iPod I'm sure I do. Um, I did upload that one time, but my mom wanted me to take it down because, you know, it's family, um, recorded, you know, without their permission to the state of Illinois. So I removed it. But you get the point. Buy $20 for a Dirty Santa, like we did, and we would just say, hey, if you don't like this alcohol or this kind of, uh, glasses, like, you know, you know, beer and all that. You can trade for something else. You can, or you could actually steal from someone and uh, so people start freaking out. They only have so many seconds to get what they need or they can steal or go back to the pile. And that's how it's been. Okay, Google. Self-destruct. Self-destructing in three, there goes. two, one. <laughs> oh, funny you do. Actually, funny. I think I'll stick around. Okay, Google, unleash the fart. Here's unleash the fart. Okay, here is a quickie. If you want to talk to unleash the, the fart song. again, just ask. 
Okay, Google, talk to Fart Noises. This is a feature, by the way. Here's Fart Noises. Hey, hey, are you curious what a fart sounds like? Oh, my God. Yeah, this is basically the review I've been having for the last five days. I almost days. finished on that one. Should I let out one more? Yes. Yes, please. One more. Happy to oblige. Oh, my God. So, yeah, they actually sold out of the blue ones. How fast. about a really so good one now? One. Uh, yes, for only $20. Yes. This is going to be out amazing. Usually $25 or something like that. Hey, I got the best one saved for next. <laughs> Want to hear it? Uh, no. No. Okay, smell you later. You can always ask okay, for me again stop. by saying, talk to fart noises. Man, I didn't listen. I guess you can't stop that, I guess, but, um... If you actually have this device and you're planning on getting it, it can control devices, including my Xbox, which my sister is currently six. I don't want to turn on the console. It's already set up to turn on the console, but the TV is not um, on the list for the Google Home to control. And there's the lights ready for them. They do sell the kits at my store for like $30. You basically change out the outlet. Uh, for the lights, or you can just plug in the outlet base controller, um, wire, wireless, so they can work with the Google Home or Alexa, and um, that might be worth it, because I can easily turn on a fan, but um, in order to actually just set it up, you just can't just plug it in, you gotta go through the app, and set it up through the Google Home app, in order to get these devices to work together. And there's one uh, LED uh, bulb that apparently doesn't work. It's Bluetooth, so it's not wireless, not Wi-Fi. It's got to be Wi-Fi to work, of course. And the Wi-Fi for the Google Home has got to be 2.4 gigs for a lot of these accessories, which is mine is. And uh, a lot of wireless devices like modems and routers support both 2.4 gigs and 5 gigahertz uh, band, you know, so... Um, I'm going to definitely get a better um, Wi-Fi uh, router or modem, basically, to actually do all these tasks for our slate so I don't have to get up and um, I can just leave and say, hey, Google, turn off all the lights and it, they just turn off. I don't have to get out up and forget. I just say, hey, or control it from, the, from anywhere, including the store. If I'm on the trip and I forget, hey, uh, I forgot to turn off the coffee pod. There's, I think it would work with one of those outlets. Those smart plugs, you know, they sell them for like twenty dollars at Walmart. So it's like, not not really a big issue as long as they can power a coffee pot. And um, yeah, just say wherever you said, like you said, hey, whatever. You know, just if you're watching a video of YouTube, like I was trying to do, and they say, hey, you know, about Google and the commands and. Google will listen and listen to his commands. So you, you may not want, you may want to mute some of those or try to make sure that the device is far enough so it doesn't hear it fully, so the commands don't go through the system, which I learned. And it's just how it is. It's voice activated. It's really easily to follow someone else's voice rather than yours. Even if you voice matched and train it. There's still a possibility of listening to a different voice and actually trusting it and making the command work. So, uh, it's a little warning, basically. And that's what they say. If there's one YouTuber does it in different languages, so it doesn't actually work on everyone's Google Home thing. There's several versions of this. This is like the cheapest one. And that's powered by a um, mini USB cable. It's connected directly to an outlet, so it's like, that's all it is. It's got the cable that goes bad. I had to buy a new, a whole entire new one, buy a cable online. Um, it's like a five volt, maybe. But it does have a mute button, so if I need to mute it for some reason, um, I can. And it does look nice. I did move it above where my desk is, so I wouldn't have to. So it looked better, basically. It wouldn't be in my way, and I could just simply 
I can even I can even tell it in the kitchen it'll do the thing basically, or anywhere in the house as long as I can it can hear my voice it's okay, and hear it clearly according to how it should sound. Then it will work for sure and probably not mess up on my speech of course, but you know that's how it is. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like below. This is a fun topic to get into, a hobby that has been for a few years and it's finally taken off. It's getting cheaper to have these devices in your house, basically. And um, there's more options now. You know, you can use a light bulb that's smart, or you can just use your existing circuit with a certain outlet thing you put in there and you wire it differently. And it still provides power, but it can shut off the power when it you want to, so that's that's awesome. That's something that is into, and they do have an iPhone version of that too that'll work with all three of these. But some of these probably won't work with Siri, with the Apple Assistant. And there's no no devices in my house to support her. So uh, thanks for watching.